So at the end of this batch of episodes, Tyler and Ashley are still together. Why? Ashley, Ashley. And it's just ridiculous from Ashley because she was going on that run in the beginning of the series talking about she doesn't want to have like a failed marriage like her mother. Babe, you're putting your mother to shame with the embarrassment. Sorry, even if Tyler genuinely was a sperm donor, she should have broke up with him for lying about it or not saying anything about it. Any man hiding that type of information, getting engaged to you without telling you that information can't be trusted. And it's just the fact that she's not putting two and two together for me. And what really frustrated me these episodes is that she told the girls about it and none of the girls were like, hell no. Because the first thing I would have said is, do you believe him? And I would have said, I don't buy it, sis. Like the way that he talks about kids, the way that he talks about starting a family, this man is not giving his sperm away for free. And then also the fact that he knows these people. He's telling you, he's telling you that he knows these people and he's telling you the kids don't know what he looks like and you're just believing him blindly, huh? Like since you know who these people are, let's get on the phone. Let's get on the phone. I need to see these papers that says that you you don't have any parental rights. And what's really annoying me is that Ashley hasn't met his family or we haven't seen her meet his family. And then the Love is Blind UK one, there was one couple that, you know, she literally met the guy's family on the wedding day. And to me, that was just diabolical. Because surely, then, then she will know the truth. She will know the truth once she meets the family. But then again, you never know because some families be back in um, their relatives' nonsense. But still, you could still in investigate, you know, ask about the sperm donor babies and see their reactions. And from their reactions, you can gauge whether he's full of shit or not. Honestly, it's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. I, I just hope that she's just there to collect, you know, the, the extra money per episode she's in. I can only hope that's why she's, that's why she's staying. Because I don't want to believe that someone could be this dumb. But unfortunately, a lot of the Christian girlies out here are very dumb. And they'll be praying for anything other than knowledge. And I think the fact that she is this wholesome Christian woman is why Tyler targeted her. He was definitely being emotionally manipulative as well. He was definitely putting the work on Ashley. But it was really him saying, you know, if you say no, like this is it for me, like he's never going to try and get married again. Of course, you're never going to try and get married again because no one's going to have you because you would have been exposed by this point. He's just trying his best to get married as quickly as possible. Um, so that it's harder for Ashley to break up with him because he knows that she doesn't want to get divorced. I don't know. I personally hope that Netflix forces him to say the truth and the whole truth because you know it, let's let's say Ashley wants to be this dumb yeah at least be dumb fully informed i won't respect that but it's just it's just going to be very wild for her to marry this man thinking he has three sperm babies just to be hit with the fact that no they're actually his actual babies and he's a deadbeat and he's broke and he's unemployed because he's also unemployed because he has um like multiple court judgments against him and to avoid paying them he's unemployed um and that's why i'm all suspicious of people on this show that says they work remotely and now i'm just suspicious in general if you're trying to marry somebody who says they work re remotely you need to check the bank statements because they be lying but you know hey at least on this show he's making some money but i gotta hear from you guys do we believe ashley is this dumb are we disappointed in ashley what do you think if if these were just sperm babies let's say they actually were just sperm babies do you think this would be acceptable 
Or do you feel like the fact that he had waited this long to tell her, like after they got married, it was just a red flag? I gotta hear from you guys. Um, and do you think they will get married? Do you think she will actually go through with getting married? I gotta hear from you guys.